When I started working here, I noticed, uh, having worked in the IPU, I noticed this inpatient unit, by the way, I noticed that uh, we had a wind that affected these doors, and also that there was, when they brought an ambulance in and brought the patients in, um, there was, it, they were exposed to the weather. And, and now I understand there's gonna be some changes made with a rotating door and a canopy to protect the patients. So I think it's a great improvement, quite exciting. Well, here on the island, we do have the odd inclement weather patterns, don't we? And it, it, what's, it's quite noticeable when they bring patients in that they're exposed to that weather situation. So, and they do have to travel, the, the ambulance can only get for about 20 feet from the door, so the, the patient is exposed to a certain amount of poor weather and, and wind as well, because this is a windy part of the, of the, the building. So the, I think it'll make a big difference with a canopy. It's, it's well needed, that's for sure. As a reception volunteer, we're, we're greeted, we greet a lot of patients' families and friends who come to visit the patients. And it, privacy is quite important. And un unfortunately, sometimes it's not as private as we would like it to be. I think that's happened. We've noticed that with the, the Braddon Lounge. The Braddon Lounge has been redone beautifully beautifully in a very positive way and it affords a lot more privacy for families as well as the patients so that if they want to have a visit or they want to have a talk they can do that quite comfortably as well as they can in their rooms of course but also this is a bit exposed as you go to the rooms the hallway and you can see it quite clearly there's not a lot of privacy there and I understand with the the changes in the building there's going to be a little bit of a more privacy added to this whole area so that should solve the problem I think it's quite exciting that's going to happen there too it's needed as a, as a receptionist I see it all the time and it's it's it certainly is needed there was a situation when we were redoing the Braddon Lounge I think they noticed that the patients weren't as comfortable with the building noise that went on, and as much as the management tried to avoid that, it was, it was inevitable it was going to happen. There would be distractions, and it, it wasn't the comfort and the privacy that we wanted for the patients. So um, I think that the decision to actually move from the building temporarily while they rebuild the rooms and can do it very quickly all in one shot, uh, it, that would eliminate that problem and not expose the patients to the excessive noise and the dust and the building that will go on when they redo some of the rooms and the hallway and the reception area too here. So it's important that the patients, as far as we're concerned, are comfortable and have privacy and are treated with the love and the respect that we do treat them. So I think we're all kind of ready for change and, and the thing I love about the whole situation is all the consultation that management have done with the staff, with the volunteers, with the families, with the patients, all of that's been taken. They listen. Management listens here. And I think that's so important, so very important. And that's what shows. And I think you'll probably hear that from most volunteers. I know all the volunteers I've talked to are extremely proud of the way this has been handled. So we're looking forward to it.